not for nothing, when people get to talking about mumble rappers or musicians in general that aren't lyrical or the best with the metaphors, I close my eyes and pinch the bridge of my nose for a second. I gotta thank an old professor of mine for telling me there's more to writing than making pretty words rhyme. Even if I thought he was full of shit at the time, turns out he had a point in hindsight. I remember when I was in my summer program that was fairly strict. There weren't any phones or laptops allowed to make participants more proactive, so they bond with each other on a summer camp type vibe, except all participants were grown ass men and women. You gotta use your phone once a night and your laptop for a couple hours every other week. To add insult to injury, music wasn't allowed. But at the time, the only artists I listened to were Lil Wayne and Gucci Mane, and one was losing his mind and the other was in jail, so I didn't really care too much. Gucci Mane was back Ray Drake Davis for like the 17th time, and I didn't know this man or ever meet him, but I was hurt and wanted him out. Not for his nice-ass double entendres, but because it's growth, and knowing he still had potential to get a lot further if he could just get out his own way. And it came through in his writing, albeit writing littered with profanity and ratchet ignorance, but the message was always intact. So to come back to the computer during our scheduled two-week break to headlines that not only he was out of jail, but he also dropped a mixtape with a new video? God is good. I never typed out the word world star faster. I looked up the video for a track called Everybody Looking. In it, you see Gucci Mane. He already bought new blue diamonds and opened the scene. He's in a new blue Lamborghini with the doors up and the blue Air Max 97s. Out the passenger drove with his pinkies up, I started crying immediately. Tears of joy rolled down my face at the library computer station, not because I knew that man, or because I wanted him to beat a crime or care about his ability to string pretty words together, but because he was dedicated to the craft. And I always felt it was real, and that's the only thing art has to be. Not that I'm the one to judge art, of course, but I like to think it's the only thing in the world so subjective that its only criteria is that it has to be authentic. So to have nice lyrics and no substance is as counterproductive as it gets. As far as music goes, so I rebuke the theory. And for that reason, I can overlook gaudy, depreciated diamond chains and horrible investment vehicles because nothing is better than an underdog story. Nothing is more inspiring than watching somebody legitimately start from ground zero only to end up soaring over the clouds. But I can understand that it's not everything, and lyrics are still paramount. But I think I'll take that over whatever logic is dropping next whenever. Amen. How you, you got it. How you pause this shit out?